Okay, uh, in this video we will do these two examples, example one and example two. Let me remind you some of the formulas that we will be using. Uh, this one, what I call the most important formula for the Laplace transform, it says that the Laplace transform of the derivative of dy dt is equal to s times Laplace transform of y minus y of zero. Uh, we will be using um, the Laplace transform of t e to the a t is just 1 over s minus a square and the two that we showed recently show in a previous video that says that the Laplace transform of sine of omega t is omega over s squared plus omega squared and the Laplace transform of cosine of omega t is equal to s over s squared plus omega squared. Remember that essentially the Laplace transform is it takes a function in terms of t and produces a function in terms of s and it is useful to solve a differential equation because we have a differential equation in terms of t. We do the Laplace transform on the left and on the right and then everything becomes a function of s and we notice that we do some algebra. When we, when we have all those things in terms of s, we don't do derivatives. We just do algebra and then we compute the Laplace transform of the y dt and then we deduce the solution. Then somehow we get we get the solution of this differential equation without doing integrals or derivatives. Okay, um, then as always, we do, we apply this formula and we take the Laplace transform in both parts and then we get S times Laplace transform of Y minus four times, sorry, minus Y of zero, but Y of zero is two, here, minus, this is minus, four times Laplace transform of y equal to two times an e to the four s. I forgot to write that one, but that we have been using this. The Laplace transform of e to the a t is one over s minus a. Then we have two times one over s minus four. Now everything is in terms of S. Then the next step is to solve for the Laplace transform of Y. We can do S minus four, Laplace transform of Y, and we move this two to the right, and we get two plus two over S minus four. What is two over S minus four? Two over S minus four is two S minus eight, plus two over s minus four, and then this is s minus four Laplace transform of y, and that means that the Laplace transform of y is two s minus six over s minus four squared. Okay, and now we will do partial fractions, right? So that we're going to make this part look like something like this and like that. Then if we do partial fractions, we can see that this is like A over S minus four plus B over S minus four squared. Let's see what is A and B. Then this is just A times S minus four plus b over s minus four squared. And if we want these two expressions to be the same, then we want a s minus four a plus b. We want that to be two s minus six. What are the equations that we get? The coefficient of s on the left is a and on the right is two. The constant coefficient 
minus 4a plus b, right? and that must be equal to negative 6. That means that a is 2, and b would be negative 6 plus 8, which is uh, 2. And we have 2 and 2, and that means that this can be written as 2 over s minus 4 plus 2 over s minus 4 squared. Okay, this is the partial fraction part. Notice that everything, all this work, which is boring and everything, is just to be able to rewrite this expression like that. Why is that useful? Because we have shown that the Laplace transform of t e to the a t is 1 over s minus a squared, and that means that we have shown this part too. That means that this is the Laplace transform of, here we have a is 2, and the constant stay there, 2 e to the 4t, and this part is exactly like this, it's 2 times, and then a is 4, there is a square, the 2 is this 2 here, and it will be t e to the 4t. That means that the solution of this problem, let me write it here, the solution is y equal to 2 e to the 4t plus 2t e to the 4t. Okay, we have that. And, okay, now let's do the second problem. For example number two, let's see what we have. We have we apply this formula and then we get S times Laplace transform of Y minus Y of zero. But Y of zero is three plus Laplace transform of Y equal to five times Laplace transform of sine of two T. But Laplace transform of sine of two T is um, the phi stays there. What is omega in this case? Omega is 2. That means that we have here a 2 over uh, s squared plus 2 squared, which is 4. So we have this formula. Let me erase this 2. I think we don't need it anymore. And then we solve for the Laplace transform of y. We have s plus 1, I can combine these two, times Laplace transform of y equal 3 plus 10 times s squared plus 4. And what is this? This is s plus 1, Laplace transform of y equal to, here I have s squared plus 4, and this is 3s squared plus 12 plus 10. Okay. And that means that the Laplace transform of y is 3s squared plus 22 over s plus 1 times s squared plus 4. Uh, we notice that this expression, we are going to make it look like something like this and that one. Right? Then we do partial fractions. Um, here we can check that this polynomial is irreducible. When you think about irreducible means that when you think about this equation, that equation doesn't have a solution in the real numbers. Then it's irreducible. And then we can rewrite this as a over s plus 1 plus b s plus c over s squared plus 4. What do we have here? This is uh, a times s squared plus 4 plus b s plus c times s plus 1 over s plus 1 times s squared plus 4. 
and let's see if we get the algebra right here. We want to compare these two things, right? Then uh, let's expand everything here. We have that a s squared. We want a s squared plus four a plus here we will get four terms plus b s squared plus b s. I'm doing this times this, this times this, plus C S plus C, and I want that to be equal to three S square plus twenty two. Okay. Then let's set up the equations. Uh, the coefficient of S square on the left. On the left, we have A plus B, and on the right. We want that to be 3. The coefficient of s, b plus c, and we want that to be 0, because there is no s here. And the constant coefficient for a plus c, and we want that to be 22. This is the system of equations. Okay, from here we get that C must be negative B, right? C must be negative B, and when I replace, I get this equation. I get A plus B equal 3. This stays the same, and here this is 4A minus B equal to 22. And then if we add the two equations, we get that 5a should be 25, and therefore a should be equal to 5. And if a is equal to 5, b should be equal to negative 2, and c must be equal to positive 2. Okay, the whole thing, which is long and boring, but it just tells us that we can rewrite, let's forget about the example one, we already did this example. It just tells us that this expression can be written as, okay, let me just change this. This expression, what is A? A is 5. This is 5. B is negative 2. and C is positive 2. Okay, then uh, we want to write this as the Laplace transform of a function. This part, 5 over S plus 1, I can use this formula. What is A? A would be negative 1, right? And then this is 5 times e to the negative t and I can rewrite this like negative 2 times s over s squared plus 1 plus 2 over, sorry, s squared plus 4, and here s squared plus 4. But if we compare with this formula, we notice that this part here, s over s squared plus 4, is just the Laplace transform of cosine of 2t. And this part, 2 over s squared plus 4, is just the Laplace transform of sine of 2t. That means that this is equal to the Laplace transform of 5 e to the negative 2t minus 2 cosine of 2t plus sine of 2t. And that means that the solution of the problem when we compare Laplace transform of y is equal to the Laplace transform of this function, you tell us it, that the solution is y e to the negative t minus 2 cosine of 2t plus sine of 2t. Okay, um, I think this is it for this video. Let's stop here.